Suppose I have to design a menu driven program. Let's say in the menu driven program I have 10 options. I can write an if else if statement. But C provides a much more elegant and a nice way of creating a menu using a switch case statement. So if you take a look at this piece of code, it should give you an idea about how a switch case works. So something which you can do with an if else if, you can always do with a switch case and you have to make the right choice when to use a switch case and when to use an if else if. So let's say I have a program and the menu options are between 1 to 4. Okay, and if I enter any other number other than 1 to 4, it's going to print the message invalid option. So what I have done is I have declared int main, I have declared a variable called as choice of the type integer. I am asking the user to enter a menu option between 1 and 4. That means the user can enter 1, 2, 3 or 4. If he enters any other option, let's say it's going to say the message invalid option. So first what I'm doing is I'm asking the user to enter the menu option and I'm reading it into a variable called as choice. Then what switch choice does is based on the value of the choice entered, it will go to either case 1, case 2, case 3 or case 4. Let's say the user entered choice as 2. So what will happen is switch choice, choice is 2. So 2 matches with this particular 2. It's going to print the message print choice is 2 and then the break statement. Once it encounters the break statement, it's going to come after this flower bracket. So a switch case is a statement or a construct in C, which is helps you makes, which helps you make choices like when you are designing a menu. Let's say I enter the number six. Since six doesn't match with any of these labels, it's going to go to default and it's going to say choices in valid. So switch case are all keywords. This choice has got to be an expression or a value which results in an integer number. All of these one, two, three, four are known as case labels. These can be expressions, but they must evaluate to a constant of the type integer. All right. So instead of integer, you can also have a character, but you know that characters are also treated as integers in C programming language. Now you need to understand or remember a few critical points when you're working with the switch case. Let's try to take what are these critical points. The switch expression that means in place of choice you can have an expression but when it is evaluated it should result in an integer or a character type of a variable sorry or a character type of a constant. Case labels, that means this one, two, three, four, these are called as case labels. They should again evaluate to a constant integer type of expression. Next thing, I can have case two before case one. I can have case three after case four. The order of the case statements is not relevant. It is immaterial. Important thing is you can have only one case one. You cannot have case one again and here again case one, again case two, case two like that. Duplicate case labels are not accepted. It will flag you a compile time error. Now this default statement is optional. It is not compulsory. Okay. And finally, the break statement helps you after executing that case, it will come out at this bracket. Suppose the choice was two and I had forgotten to put this break. After two, choice is two message being printed. It would also print the message choice is three and then it would break. Now break simply changes the flow. You can have any number of switch cases within a switch case statement. The syntax of a switch case is like this. Switch, this has to be an integer expression or the evaluation should lead to an integer value. All of this value one till value n should evaluate to an integer constant. Okay, even a character ultimately evaluates to an integer constant. You can have number of statements. You don't require the flower brace here because you got the break. So once the statements are executed, the break can hit. Now, let me tell you this break is optional. If you forget to put the break, it is going to go and execute the next step of statements. The order of the case is not important. You cannot have duplicate case labels. All right. The default statement is again optional. 
and this is block D or whatever statement you can call and this is the flower brace which ends with the switch expression. So this would be the flower brace. So you will have a better idea of switch case once we do a number of problems.